Hi everybody, I'm Nick. Thank you so much for joining me back on my channel for another taste test. How have you been? How was your weekend? I've been fighting a fever all weekend. I also had a sore throat and it all began a few days after I ate a cricket in my last video. The can said that these were farm raised and meant to be lizard food. I've been thinking about it and I think that that means I ate a cricket that existed entirely on a diet of animal waste, which is also its home that it crawled around in. So me. That might have something to do with the virus. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you have to go watch it because I've never tasted anything so bad in my life. If something tastes that repulsive, it's nature's way of telling you not to put it in your mouth. Anyway, today we're taste testing something edible and I'm really happy about that. But first, if you're not already, click that subscribe button below if you like taste testing videos and such. And if you are into this type of video, give me a thumbs up so that I know to make more. Today, I'm going to be taste testing a British food called Marmite. This was suggested to me in the comments by Jet B who said I will either love it or hate it. She also suggested I try other British sweets in general. So I got this Marmite and the British sweets, I ordered a whole assortment of them them to taste test in a future video. It's gonna take a few weeks for them to get here because they're being sent from Britain. I just made that connection. I was like, why is it taking so long? They're being mailed from the country of origin. Why do I think things magically just appear at Amazon warehouses? I obviously need to go back to high school. So for those of you who don't know, Marmite is like a British virgin, Virgin, a British virgin, British virgin, British virgin. Ah, Marmite, she's a British virgin. It's the British version of Vegemite. <laughs> so they're like yeast extract pastes and they're very salty. I've heard the same thing. People either love them or they hate them. I guess it's actually made from a byproduct of the beer making process. You know, normally I don't like to eat foods that are the byproduct of other foods, but this sounds like something I actually might enjoy. I'm sure I'll at least be able to see the appeal. So let's crack her open and give it a try. As I said, it's traditionally eaten on a slice of toast and I realized today that I don't have a toaster. So I broiled this in the oven. This is what some of my apartment looks like in case you've ever wondered. I actually usually like my toast pretty well done. So I'm gonna try the Marmite on this piece here. Oh no, I just dropped bread all over the carpet. Ugh. Just kidding, don't stab yourself in the throat. Let's crack open the Marmite and see if it can bring peace to my troubled mind. I'm actually really hungry. So this toast smells good already. Ooh. It's got this pretty plasticine shine to the top of it. Kind of a nice little thing in its jar there. And I do notice a smell, kind of like a yeasty fermented beer smell. I can see from how pretty this looks in the jar and the aroma, you could easily have like nostalgic childhood memories about this. Am I grumbling? Cause I feel like I'm talking like this. I have no. It smells a lot like the toast, actually. The toast itself, bread smell. Delicious when spread thinly on toast. For a treat, try Marmite on a crisp rim. Crisp, crisp bread. For a treat, try Marmite on a crisp bread with cottage cheese. Marmite is a good source of B vitamins. Is that a good British accent? Let's get some Marmite on this toast. It's kind of got a texture like a thick brown honey. Sort of like a what Nutella would be, but a little more like honey because it's got some translucency to it. I can get down with that. I like the way it spreads too. It's kind of like fun spreading, just like a thin amount. I'm sure that many people upon first trying this as Americans spread it on toast like peanut butter. And that probably is a nasty surprise because from what I've been reading, this is very salty. I would imagine putting globs of it in your mouth would be disgusting. So here we go. I have a thin layer of Marmite spread across this bread, sort of like a jam. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. The first thing that comes to mind is like the contents of a ramen noodle packet. It has almost like a meaty taste to it because it's so savory and salty. Which to me, cause I'm eating it on toast, I think my American brain is expecting something sweet and buttery like normally you would have with toast at breakfast. But I think England, the UK, they prefer savory breakfasts. You know, they have the full English, which is like a lot of savory foods, not so sweet. Yeah. It's like a soup stock almost. It's what it keeps reminding me of. It's like a gravy or a stock. 
I definitely don't love it. Even plain toast would be fine. This kind of ruins the toast for me, so I guess I don't like it. I didn't want that to be the case. I wanted to like it. But it's not like if someone gave me this in a foreign country and this was what they were eating, I would eat it. And I do see the appeal. I see why others would probably like this, especially, like I said, if you grew up eating it, but... For me, I'm still hungry, so I'm probably just gonna put peanut butter on these other three slices of toast and eat them, because I need a snack. It's fun to try the food of other nations. In this case, it's more of something that I'm glad that I can say that I did, but I don't think it's gonna be a regular part of my diet. Thank you so much again to Jet B for suggesting I try Marmite, and thank you for watching and joining me for this little foreign delicacy adventure. Again, please give me a thumbs up if you like this type of taste testing video so that I can make more for you. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you could click subscribe and join the crew that helps me put these videos together by suggesting what I do next. I've got lots of things coming in the mail to do and make and taste, so click subscribe and we'll have some fun. You can also follow me on social media down here say hi. I always respond. Have a great week. I will see you guys on Friday. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Just mumbling my way through an entire video. People are gonna love that. Delicious when spread thinly on toast. This is a mess. I'm waving knives around. <laughs>